Hi guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Shannon, and I am a wife and a mom of four. And today in my video, I'm going to be showing you what you should pack in your hospital bag. Now, you may have some other things that you wanna to add to it, um, and that is totally up to you, whatever makes your stay at the hospital comfortable and best for you. I chose these things because I was just like you. I was searching YouTube, um, I was searching Pinterest, looking for a list of things to pack, um, and watching tons of videos after work, late at night, um, trying to figure out what to pack in my hospital bag. Now, I did say I'm a mom of four, so I have two 10-year-olds um, girls. I have a three-year-old girl, and I have a two-month-old son and I was searching YouTube and Pinterest for my two-month-old son. Even after having um, two children of my own, um, one of my 10-year-old daughters is my stepdaughter, um, I still was not sure of what I should pack. So um, let's jump right on in, and I am going to show you what you should pack for your hospital stay. All right, so the first room you're going to go to, well, I don't know if your hospital is like mine, but um, for my hospital stay, before they would admit me to the labor and delivery floor, I had to go to um, this place called the MAC. Um, it's like an assessment center. And so the nurses there kind of assess you to see if you're really in labor, if they need to take you to the labor and delivery floor or not. Um, and so what they did was put the monitor on me to monitor the baby and check me. And once the doctor said that I needed to go to labor and delivery floor, I went to the labor and delivery floor. Sorry for all the noise, by the way. That is my 10-year-old daughter who thinks that she just snuck in here to get her phone quietly and she did not. <laughs> um, so after I was assessed at the hospital, they took me up to the labor and delivery floor. And that's where I had my baby. Okay, so once you're on the labor and delivery floor, um, I'm not sure if your hospital is anything like mine, but uh, I had to have the baby on the labor and delivery floor. And then after I had the baby, usually within a few hours, they transport you to the postpartum floor where you stay um, for the remainder of the time that you're in the hospital after you have your baby. Um, so yeah. while I was on the labor and delivery floor, um, I didn't need very uh, much out of my bag. Um, actually my husband went in my bag uh, for some things but I didn't really need too much out of it so what I did need out of my hospital bag was um, my charger so you will need a charger um, to charge your phone and an extra long cord is very good to have because with the hospital rooms you're not exactly sure where the outlets will be so for you to be able to reach your phone, just in case your um, labor process is long and you'll wanna have your phone um, to kind of keep you occupied, you'll want a long um, cord for that. Also, um, sometimes your lips can get chapped. Uh, my nurses did tell me that I was allowed to have liquids, but your mouth still gets pretty dry. I don't know if it's the hospital air or what it is, but you'll probably need some chapstick. And then what I also needed was a hair tie. Um, my hair is pretty long, so um, especially if you're going to get an epidural, they want to make sure your back is free and clear. So make sure that you have some hair ties or something to pin your hair up so that it's not in the way. And you don't want to be all hot and sweaty either because sometimes those rooms are kind of warm. Um, I also... Um, I packed fuzzy socks, but these are more so for after I had the baby. Um, before I had the baby, all I did while I was on the labor and delivery floor, I put the gown on that they gave me and I also wore the hospital socks. Now I know some people like to take their own gowns um, to the hospitals. I think as long as they open up in the back, you can wear it the entire time if you're gonna have an epidural. But I just chose to wear the hospital gown. I thought that would be easier. And the hospital socks were fine because I wasn't in them very long. Um, I went in in the evening around probably a little, maybe six o'clock in the evening to the assessment center and my son was born a little after four in the morning. So I wasn't in that room very long. Um, I had my house shoes. Um, so you'll wanna have some slippers for you. Um, I bought these at Target, but I'm sure you can find some anywhere. They're a little bit beaten up. 
Um, not only have I been wearing them, but my ten, one of my 10 year old daughters has been wearing them also um, around the house. So it'll be good to have some slippers just in case you do get up. These are a little bit of um, added support for your feet. And because the floors, although it's the hospital and you wanna believe that it's totally sanitary, um, this will give your mind some added comfort. Um, I also, for my husband, because I knew that he would be on the couch in the room um, while I was in labor um, and he would probably go to sleep. Um, I packed in my, my hospital bag, I packed a sheet to cover the couch so that he didn't have to actually lay on the couch because like I said, I know they try to keep it clean but you're not always sure if it is clean. So I packed a sheet to cover the couch for him to lay on. Um, so that it felt more comfy and it was more clean. And I also packed um, a blanket for him. I actually packed two blankets. I packed a blanket for him and one for me just in case I was cold um, for him to, to have to lay on. Um, let's see. All right, now let's get into the postpartum um, things because you're actually gonna need more for after you have the baby than you do for before you have the baby. So when the nurses rolled me down stairs to um, the postpartum floor, um, I had a room and it was a private room um, and I wasn't allowed to take a shower just yet. I had to wait a little while, but what I did end up doing was I still utilized my slippers um, but I pretty much was in the bed for a little while to allow my epidural to wear off and for the nurses to check me over and to check the baby over. So I wasn't allowed to shower until later that evening. Once I was allowed to shower, some things that I packed in my little, um, I forget what this is called, um, but my little personal hygiene bag that I got, I actually found this at Marshall's. Um, I was looking for a bag and I found this at Marshall's, so I just picked it up um, in case I travel anywhere else after after this. Um, so inside this bag is actually pretty deep, if you can tell. So it it's pretty big, it, it would fit a lot of things, but you don't need a ton of stuff um, unless you want to take a lot of things, but I didn't. Um, so once I was allowed to shower, I had used this, so this is some Olay shower um, body wash. And so this is pretty small, but I knew that I was only gonna be in the hospital for a few days. So this was plenty of, um, of body wash for me to be able to use. So I took um, one of these and I got this at Target as well, which is a small lotion. Uh, from after my shower. Now, what I tried to do is I wore perfume the whole time I was pregnant, but I didn't want to have very strong scents on after I had the baby because I know that um, newborn babies like the scents of their mom. And um, so I didn't want to have very powerful smells on. I just kind of wanted to keep it um, as mellow as possible. So these were the things that I used. Um, for my shower now the hospital will give you lotion but it's it's not really good lotion i mean you can like use it for your hands or whatever but it's not really that great so you can pack your own like i did if you want um i also packed um some things for my hair i tried to make sure um, that I did my hair or like wet it and conditioned it daily. Um, just in case I went into labor, I also made sure that I sh uh, shaved my legs and everything else that needed to be shaved um, on a pretty regular basis, just in case I went in and had the baby. And I'm glad that I did because my son was actually two weeks early. Um, so for my hair, what I brought was um, a small thing of oil because for my, my curly hair, pretty much all I need is like a leave-in conditioner and oil. So I brought a small oil um, to the hospital and this is what I use at home too actually. And I took a pack of this because um, my containers that I use at home for my hair are actually pretty big jars and I didn't wanna have to take all of those for a few days. So I just found like a little packet at, um, I think I got 
this at Walmart um, to help my hair not be crazy at the hospital. And this is what I use. Um, I took my big comb, my tooth comb, and a brush for my hair. And then I packed my deodorant. And of course you need a toothbrush, toothpaste. Um, and also my hospital had some of the Medela nipple cream. Um, if you're gonna breastfeed, this is a lifesaver because I am telling you, it is toe curling pain in the first week. Um, it's really bad the first couple days, but after that, your body gets used to it, and so it's not so bad. So I don't want to discourage anyone from breastfeeding, but you will need something like this to kind of help you in that in that first week, especially those first few days, um, because your nipples can get um, sore and cracked. And so to help prevent that, they give you this um, lanolin cream, um, which works really well, but I actually found out that my son did not like it. Uh, he was the first of my kids who actually would latch on and taste it and then he would unlatch. So I am so glad that I had this in my hospital bag, which I found on Amazon. Um, this is, this is um, nipple cream and it is all natural. So um, it doesn't have any petroleum or lanolin in it and it or anything artificial. It's 100% plant-based. So it's totally safe for you and for your baby. And I put this on and my baby didn't even notice it. He did perfectly fine. Um, another thing that you can pack, which if you're gonna have a C-section, of course you'll be in the hospital longer and your milk will really start to come in and, and flow. So you'll definitely need some breast pads. Um, I was only in the hospital for two days, so my milk hadn't come in yet, so I wasn't really leaking or anything, but a good backup just in case, because you never know, and just to have it in there to be safe, you can have, um, breast pads. Now, these are from Evenflow, and these are the disposable ones, but you just take the the tape off the back and they're supposed to stick inside of your nursing bra. You can use these ones. Um, I have these at home. I actually bought some after I got home. Um, and then I also have these that I found on Amazon. So these are reusable nursing pads and you can wash these. So um, you can use these every day. I think they came in a pack with like Mm, maybe like 10, 10 sets of them, maybe a little less than that. Um, but you can put these in your bra and once they get wet, you can just take them out and throw them in the laundry and wash them. They also come with a laundry bag. So these were on Amazon. Um, these are great if you're going to be at home, like during maternity leave or if you're a stay at home mom, because if they do get wet, you can just switch them out and get another one and wash them. But these, I do not wear these when I go on, if I know I'm going to be out for a long time. And I won't be wearing these when I return to work because I would probably have to take a few pair with me. And because I don't have that many that came in the pack, I would probably need to wash clothes like every two days. Um, which I don't do that now, so... Um, that wouldn't be good for me. So those are all the things that were in my hygiene bag that you would need to be able to take your shower. Every mom normally really looks forward to that first shower after they have the baby. You feel like a brand new person after you get a shower, which is amazing. Um, I did also take my own towel. I took a few towels in my bag. I packed a few of those and a few washcloths. I wanted to have these because I knew that they would be soft sometimes because of the material or the chemicals that they washed the laundry in at the hospital to make sure that it's clean and sterile. It makes the towels and washcloths kind of rough. So it's really rough on your skin. And if you want something a little softer, you might want to bring your own towels and washcloths with you. Um, I also brought... I bought two sets of pajamas because of the YouTube videos I was watching. They had some really great suggestions. So the first um, outfit I got, I actually got this from Walmart. It says yarn 
and it's a long sleeve but it's it's really soft like a really soft material and it's lightweight it looks like a sweatshirt but it's a really light sweatshirt um i had this and it came with these pants so they're like stretchy at the waist and they tie to make them tighter and then they're kind of like a jogger pant so i had these and these were really comfortable i also bought this pajama set this was also from walmart i bought this one because i figured it would be really good um, for breastfeeding to be able to just unbutton it um and that came with these pants which these are kind of like capri length it's hard to see but they're not like all the way down to the ankle they're more like capri length which i found out i didn't really like those and they're kind of stretchy um i didn't wear this one while i was at the hospital because i didn't actually end up staying two full days um so the but this is good if you're gonna nurse because it has the button down so you don't have to worry about trying to mess with so many clothes or get situated you can kind of just unbutton and, and feed your baby that way um another thing that i had was my fuzzy socks um because i was actually a little bit cold but i had times where i was cold and times where i was hot and these just made me feel comfortable my baby was born at the end of october so it was a little bit chilly outside but i had these um fuzzy socks uh to wear for with my um pajamas now another lifesaver is so your going home outfit so i showed you the towels my pajamas all of the hygiene items house shoes now going home so i was totally shocked that my feet were still completely swollen after i had my son for some reason i thought that they were just going to magically go back to normal and i would be able to wear normal shoes but that was not the case um i did however pack a pair of socks to go home um and I had packed up my pair of Toms, but I couldn't get that on my foot. So I am glad, and that's my three-year-old, I am glad that I was able to wear these house shoes or these slippers outside because of the rubber sole. So I actually ended up wearing these home. Um, so make sure that you either have a pair of shoes that you were able to wear during your pregnancy or a pair of slippers that have a hard sole because when you go to leave the hospital, you're, if your feet were swollen like mine, you won't be able to wear your normal shoes that you were able to wear before you got pregnant or early in your pregnancy. Um, another thing that I had for postpartum, and this helped me when I was um, at the hospital, was these nursing bras. So I actually purchased these off of Amazon um, in my third trimester and I, I wore them before I had my son because they were really Mommy. comfortable and they fit me. Um, Mommy. but Mommy, I got the Ivy. okay, Aubrey. but these are nursing bras and these came with a pack of, I think five, a pack of five off of Amazon. Um, I read their reviews. They had really good reviews, but they have um, like a padding in them and then you can just unclip it and nurse your baby and clip it back up and this is good to go. Another thing that I got and I got these off of Amazon as well. These came in a pack of four. These are nursing tanks and it was actually a really good deal for these because I think I paid, it wasn't $40. I paid under $40 for four of these tanks, which was um, a really good deal. Now, I like them because they're stretchy. So while I was pregnant, I was able to wear these. And sometimes it's hard to find clothes that go all the way over your belly and go down a little bit further than your belly so that your clothes are not riding up. Um, so these were really good to wear to work. They're really stretchy and they're comfortable on a pregnant belly. And you just unclip it 
and you can nurse your baby. I actually really love these two because when you're out in public or if you're at home and you have company and you need to feed your baby, you can just lift up your shirt that you have on. Like if I was wearing this um, with this underneath, you can just lift up your shirt and your stomach is covered. So it's not going to expose you or you're not gonna be cold from these, from wearing these. Link, I will try to put the link for these um, nursing tanks and nursing bras in the description box if you want to um, go check them out. For my going home outfit, I took a pair of yoga pants. Um, I knew that I was going to be um, wearing some serious padding and I wanted to make sure that I was secure. So I took yoga pants for my take home outfit because they're comfortable and they will hold everything in and a sweatshirt. So similar to the one that I'm wearing um, to wear with my yoga pants um, because your belly <laughs> is not going to shrink back to normal size. So to have something a little comfortable is nice. And I also packed um, a cardigan just in case I didn't wanna wear the sweatshirt you have something else and then with the nursing tank underneath it you can easily feed your baby um, and that's nice and cozy and warm so i have that for me i also purchased some depends on amazon because um after watching other youtube videos i realized that they were right and that the hospital pads were pretty big and bulky and they weren't very comfortable the Depends are way better. Um, if you buy them, they're like the incontinence underwear. I'm sorry, I don't have any. I actually use all of mine after I have my son. But if you wanna wear those to help you, um, I actually had to purchase two packs um, to get me through the weeks after I had him. Um, but those are really nice. And I even doubled them up and would wear two. And at first I was wearing the the pads that the hospital gave me, but then I kind of got away from those because they're not very comfortable and um, put my own pad inside of the Depend and that helped a lot. Um, I know on YouTube, some of them said to bring your own water bottle. I did have my own water bottle, but I am very thankful because the hospital actually gave me this water cup when I was in labor. And I still use this water cup now being at home because me being a breastfeeding mom, I'm constantly thirsty and I'm, I always drink a lot of water. Um, I usually drink like three of these a day, if not more. Um, I don't really drink anything else except for water just because that's what I like to drink. Um, but it tells you how many ounces are in here. So it's 32 ounces in this container. So this is a good way for me to keep track of my water, but they gave me this cup and I still use it now. So if you want to take a water bottle, you can, because I'm not exactly sure what kind of cup your hospital would give you. Um, now I'm going to show you some of the things that the hospital gave me. So I heard some YouTubers, they were buying these, these witch hazel pads. So you can buy these if you want, but I called and made sure that my hospital was going to give them to me. Um, when I was there the first day and I used about half, I actually asked the nurse for another container of these because I wanted to take them home and use them um, so that I didn't have to buy my own and they gave me more. So you can always ask your nurse for more and they'll give you more of these witch hazel pads, which are really nice for healing. Um, they give you this um, spray bottle uh, you'll want to use this because you'll probably be kind of sore. So it will help you to have um, this bottle to help clean yourself afterwards. And then my, I've never had these before, but my hospital this time had them and they are really cool. Um, these are, they're called a perineal cold pack. And this is like a big pad that you can put inside of your Depend um to help but what it is is i don't know if you can see that this side is bigger because there's like an ice pack in here so what you do is you like shake it you, you shake it you like you bend it until it pops let me see if i can do it 
and it pops and then it releases this cold like fluid and you shake it up really good until it's cold yeah see it's cold um and then you peel this off and you can stick it inside of your depend underwear or on top of the hospital pad in your um hospital netting underwear if you choose to wear those and this is really nice because it's like nice and cold. So it helps relieve the pain after having a baby for a vaginal birth and it feels really good. So if your hospital has these, you are in good luck right there. Um, now I'm gonna show you what I packed for my husband in my big suitcase for my hospital bag. So my husband doesn't really wear slippers, he wears slides, so I actually packed his slides for him um, to wear in the hospital room and that worked out perfectly. I packed two pairs of sweatpants or joggers for him to wear. Um, a couple t-shirts and a couple of these like sweatshirts for him to wear in case he got cold. I also packed him some shorts to wear and some white t-shirts just in case he got too hot. And of course, socks and underwear um, for him to be able to shower because he did stay with me and shower at the hospital. And now, lastly, I'm going to show you what I packed in my baby's hospital bag. Now. You're not gonna need a ton of stuff for your baby because the hospital's gonna give you diapers and wipes and they usually have blankets and they put the baby um, in a t-shirt and a hat usually. But I didn't like the hat that they had at the hospital because it was pink and blue and, and I had a boy so I didn't want him to be wearing like a lime pink and blue hat. Um, and it was kind of flimsy so it kept falling off his head and um so i packed a few things because i just brought his diaper bag with me to the hospital so in his bag what i knew that i would need for him is his going home outfit which i didn't dress him like this when he was home as a newborn because you're changing so many diapers that it's just too hard to take all of the stuff off all the time but this was his going home outfit. I wanted something really nice for pictures um, with his shirt to go underneath it. And I also took, I'm glad I had a few pairs of socks because they don't put socks, the hospital doesn't put socks on the babies or at least they didn't for my son. And he actually had a problem with his temperature where um, his temperature was lower than it should have been and so they were trying to get it to go up to normal and so I'm glad I brought socks because I was able to um, put these on his feet and put them in a nice warm blanket and get him warm so that his temperature would go up and he was okay. But you might want to bring socks for your baby for the hospital stay since the hospital doesn't have them usually. And then I brought him hats, which I'm glad I did. Um, a few beanies for him uh, because the hospital hat kept falling off and it was kind of thin, but these kept his head nice and warm. Um, so I brought those and also to wear for his going home outfit. And then I brought this nice fuzzy blanket. I hope you can see how soft it is. So this was really soft, which is good because the blankets at the hospital that they have for the babies are similar to the towels that you have to use. I think because they have to wash them in um, strong chemicals to get them clean, it makes them kind of rough. So the blankets at the hospital were kind of rough for the baby. So I made sure to bring a softer blanket for his skin. And then also this helped with raising his temperature when I wrapped him in this. Um, it kept him nice and warm. I also brought these swaddlers. And I believe I got these off of Amazon to swaddle him in at the hospital to keep him warm. Um, this blanket I've actually found at Walmart, it has a cute little elephant on it. I found this at Walmart. And then these hats I found on Amazon in a pack, a three pack. Um, and his outfit I ordered off of target.com. So I got that online. 
all right and that is all for my video of what to pack in your hospital bag if you like this video please subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up give me a comment of what you would like me to make a video of next thanks and i'll see you guys next time